Good morning, everybody. It is time for Imagine It, and we are on location outside of the Imagination Station. I have Carl Nelson here with me, and of course, sand reminds me of summer and all the fun things. What are we doing today? It's everybody's first experience of building materials is working with sand, That's right? That's true, yes. And so I've been building a little prototype sand castle over here. I want you to grab some of this sand uh -huh. and fill up your container here. This, okay, just, just use go, my hands? Yeah, just okay. gra grab in there. That's how you did it as a kid, just yeah. put it in there. And one of the keys is to use this little device to sort of tamp the sand down. Okay, so, I'll so give now that it's to getting you. really technical here. Yeah, just kind of tamp it in so we have no voids in there. All right. And you know, the interesting thing about this is the reason that you can build a sand castle or a sand pile is because those grains of sand have experienced friction against one another uh, due to their weight, or if you press on it, that friction is what allows to hold it in place. Okay. So I'm gonna throw a little more sand sure. in there for you. We wanna okay. fill this whole thing up. All right. We're gonna make literally a little sand castle out of our cups here. Cool. And then we're going to test them. So we do oh a little, boy. In, little engineering test. This is on where this it really stuff. comes down to it. Okay. I thought so, I was just building the sandcastle, Carl. So come on over here. Okay. I, I've got my sandcastle. We're going to just put them down on the table. Okay. And the, the key here, I've got like a little form inside there. Lift off the red cup. All right. Perfect. And then we'll peel away these to reveal really nice castles. Mm, okay. Sort of. Well, that's okay. good. I want you to test your <laughs> castle and be careful because mine is, is delicate. Okay. Very carefully press down with your hand on top of that sand castle and press straight down. You're applying a force and those little granules that have friction against one another, the friction is not strong enough. Okay? Sure. Now, so it smashes. So it smashes. Yeah. Now I've applied a little engineering principle to mine. Try that same thing on my castle. Press straight down from the top okay. as hard as you can. Oh geez. Let me help. Let me help. Oh. Okay. Stop. <laughs> You're not going to be able to crush no, it. No, you okay. cheated. That's what I, I called no, it. No, I didn't cheat. <laughs> let, let me show you what I did. We're going to step over to this big box okay. here because we're going to supersize this a bit. I put in this window screen material, right? Oh, sure. We all have that. You have this stuff yep. at home. And so all I did was I laid some of that material down and then you know, throw a scoop of sand on top and then we tamp it down. Right? Okay. So you grab your tamper right. and you tamp it down and we make it all nice and level and then we repeat again and again and again. Oh, about, wow. about every inch or so. So, we'll, okay. so you get the idea. We're going to build that up and this will make like an eight inch cube yeah. of sand. And the question is, you saw how difficult that was. To even smash with my smash hand. With I was hand. putting in some weight, you know? But for the people at home, maybe you're faking. I don't know. Maybe you're, you just weren't okay, pressing hard enough. Okay, I wasn't faking, enough. but okay, sure. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to step over here, and I've got another cube of sand inside this container. Oh, boy. We All have right, our Carl. van jacked up in the air about yes. eight inches. Okay. What I'm going to try to do is release this form from our container and then slide this cube of sand underneath our van. Just the cube itself. Just the cube with of the sand. With the engineered window With the engineered screen. window screens inside. Okay. And I. And so this is essentially just all based on engineering and a little bit of what else? Well, it's something that you would actually see if you're driving around uh, locally nowadays with the construction that's happening near the highways. Yeah. A lot of those on ramps mm -hmm. are done with what's called engineered earth. Oh. Or mechanically stabilized earth. So it can hold weights of semis and other things that exactly. maybe you typically would not be able to? Exactly. All and right. we're going to test that out with our 4,000 pound van here. Each tire is exerting about 1,000 pounds of force. Okay. What I'm going to have you do, it looks like it got under the tire, I'm going to have you slowly lower the van All right. onto that cube of right. sand. So I hold You're up gonna, this. Just turn to, the left turn to the left a little bit, lower it slowly. Okay. Might have to use two hands, a little okay. sticky. And let's see what happens as the van. All right. It's lowering. Okay, hold just for a I'm second. Holding, Let me I'm readjust holding. so we get right underneath. All right. Okay, now go ahead. Keep going. Lowering. Bring lowering. it down. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Wow. It is all the way down. Okay. We've got a thousand pounds standing on that cube of sand. Yeah, I'm still releasing. In fact, the pin just popped out. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> well, maybe but, move away from the van. But then. I'll tell you what, though, <laughs> that is amazing. So that's essentially holding a large portion of the car because if it would have been my pile, this thing would have started to roll away or would have been flat, yes. right? Well, we got the parking brake on just in case. Whew. But okay. Yeah, but look, that is amazing. That is amazing. Just those simple screens are providing that strength so the sand doesn't slide out laterally. All right, so not just for keeping the bugs out of your house. No, Apparently no. for keeping cars in place. It's <laughs> amazing engineering material and you see it everywhere. In fact, you know, as, as far back as thousands of years ago, people understood this idea of throwing straw yes. into clay to strengthen bricks. Wow. So it's a, it's a time-tested uh, way of strengthening a material. Carl, you outdid yourself. You're making me sweat out here. That is this week's Imagine It. And just a reminder, the Imagination Station is open today and it is Saturday which means Lucas County children 12 and under get in free with a paid adult.